Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you, trying to help you through IXL's 8th grade math section G, scientific notation. This video we're going to add and subtract numbers written in scientific notation. They start off pretty simple, um, if you understand the concept, and they get a little bit tougher. So these are both in terms of 10 to the 3rd. So 10 to the 3rd is about 1,000. So using estimation, this is 6,000 minus a little bit more than 2,000. All right. But we're definitely going to end up with a number in the thousands. All right. 6 minus 2.59, that's 3.41. And that's our answer. 3.41 times 10 to the third. All right. And again, on this one, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fourth. I think we're going to end up with a number in the 10 to the fourth. If not, 10 to the fifth or 10 to the third. It's going to be close. It's definitely not going to be times 10 to the 8th. All right, 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 times 10 to the 4th. So where it gets a little bit tougher is when the um, powers of 10 aren't the same. All right, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to make the powers of 10 the same. I'm going to turn this into 14.8. Times 10 to the eighth. If I increase this first factor by a power of 10, I have to decrease the second factor by a power of 10. All right, and from that, I'll subtract this 9.37 times 10 to the eighth. So now we've got 10 to the eighth and 10 to the eighth. What's 14.8 minus 9.37? 14.8 minus 9.37 is 5.43. So 5.43 times 10 to the eighth, there's our answer. These have the exponents that are two away from each other. So there's different ways we could do this. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one and actually, I'm going to leave it the same. Yeah. Let's make it 8.2 times 10 to the 6th. And then I'm going to add to that this one. But I'm going to change that power of 10. So I want to decrease that to 10 to the 6th. That means I have to increase this number. So if I decrease this by two powers or two factors of 10, I have to increase this factor by two powers of 10. So that would be moving the decimal place two spots to the right. Again, if you multiply this by 100, you have to divide the 10 to the 8th by 100. That's what I did. All right, so now we have the same power of 10. What about this? 8.2 plus 962.2. That's 970. Point four. I can already see where my answer is. The only place I see that 9704 is right there. So that would be times 10 to the 6th. If I actually put this back into, if I divided this number by, or into scientific notation, divide it by 10 a couple times, I'd have to multiply this by 10 a couple times to kind of even it all out. And there it is right there. Let's do one more like that. Um, again, I think I'll leave this number alone, 2 times 10 to the 5th. And then I'm going to subtract this number. All right, I want to get that up to 10 to the 5th. I'm going to multiply that 10 to the 3rd by 10 a couple times. That means I have to take this 0 .8 or this 8.3 and divide it by 10 a couple times. So divide that by 10 a couple times. Multiply the 10 to the third by 10 a couple times. We get that. Now we have the same power of 10. We just have to do 2 minus 0 0.83. Or 0 0.083, rather. That's 1.917 times 10 to the fifth. And there it is. 1.917 times 10 to the fifth. All right, a little tricky. Um, sometimes when you got to 
convert the forms, but that's adding and subtracting numbers written in scientific notation. Good luck.